Christian music artists continuing to put their faith in politicians instead of God. Look, I know a lot of people like this song, okay? But I'm going to... I'm going to say some things probably not going to be very popular. Okay. But I, I got to do it anyway. And I'm going to, I'm just going to skip my usual intro and I'm just going to jump right into it here. Okay. N- Natasha Owens. Okay. Award-winning Christian artist released a new song called Trump one. Now that's one with the W. And of course we know what this is alluding to. Okay. Yes. From 2020. And look, I've said before what happened was wrong. Okay. We know the deal. And I'm not even saying that this song, you know, is wrong in what she's saying. Here's my problem with this is that Natasha Owens putting out this song. This is an indicator that this is not someone that is interested in promoting. And this is something I've always called on Christian artists to do, but they don't do this for repentance. She has all these patriotic songs on her album, right? Including different renditions of, you know, like America the Beautiful and this and that. Love for country, it's fine. But let me tell you something. America is not going to be saved. I know this is something that a lot of people don't want to hear. But you have to understand, we are in the last days. Hope for America? You think Trump coming in is going to do anything? Let me really quick, guys, if you could, you know, give this video a like if YT lets you share it uh, across all your platforms. Help us get around the algorithms. Hit the bell. Subscribe. Uh, Yes, I wear the glasses because I'm blind. And I have a video that explains my whole story. If you're interested in how I operate my entire video ministry with no physical sight at all, uh, it's in the description. Plus, if you want to help the ministry guys to donate, you can click the super thanks down below on this video here. That opens up a donation prompt for you to make a one time donation. Leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. You could also help me out with my goal for the month of March, trying to get at least five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We have one new sign up so far, guys, to looking for four more. Uh, We hit the goal for both January and February, so help me do it again for March. And with Patreon, you get alerted for all my content. Unlike YT and their alerts, which you're not going to get all of them, it just doesn't happen. You could even leave all your comments on Patreon completely censorship-free. No worry about YT blocking or taking down what you're saying. You could send me direct messages as well. So big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. You know, getting back to this whole song, if Christian artists actually focused more time in their music on actually presenting and singing about an uncompromised word of God and actually singing about repentance and how the reason that America is in the shape that it's in now is because of the fact that so many Christians have embraced immorality, the rainbow lifestyle, everything that the the Bible is against. They have caved to the culture, but yet somehow these artists think that Trump is going to save us or DeSantis is going to save us. They get so popular off this stuff and yet their message is weak. You can wave an American flag around all you want. At the end of the day, it is not going to change this nation one single bit. A call to repentance. People actually getting on their knees before the Lord, turning from their sins. That is what is going to save their souls. America will get darker. It will continue to slip further and further into immorality. But if you have a supernatural faith, if you can rely on Jesus Christ here in these last days, you will pursue until the end. He will sustain you. Everything that Jesus talked about in Matthew chapter 24 is coming to pass. Wars, rumors of wars, nations against nations, kingdoms against kingdoms. You know, men's hearts failing them for fear of looking after those things which are coming upon the earth. Why aren't these artists going on their songs like a Natasha Owens and proclaiming that Jesus is coming soon? We're in the last days. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. But they don't. Instead, they bow before politicians to save our country. Trump ain't going to save this country. No man will. Only Jesus. I'm very passionate about this. 
I'll have more on this in the description below. What I want to do right now, though, is something that I do on all these videos. Let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you up to speed on everything that's going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming soon. What I want to do right now, though, is offer anybody right now watching, if you've never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, to give you that opportunity right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you, there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month. Help me out with my goal for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons. Guys, we've got one sign up so far. Still looking for four more. You could also click the super thanks down below on this video here. That'll open up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation and leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.